So the circular dampness at the bottom of the corner next to the entrance to the cellar and this lines up with dot and dab and it was a plasterboard and you can see the heat loss near to the cold cellar. Uh, have a listen to the, the survey. Uh, these were the areas of particular concern uh, and, and obviously you can see the heat loss. Look at the neighbour side and the, just the other side of this damp wall, there's a fridge and what's happening is there's condensation forming in that fridge. But I'm not, I don't think that's the primary cause of dampness in my client's property. Have a listen to the survey. So that isn't rising damp. Rising damp across the whole base of the wall. It's almost certainly going to be condensation falling behind the wall. got the fan here and bathroom. This is in the cellar. It's high damp meter readings there. The thing about cellars is when you open the door it's going to be subject to internal vapour, which can condense on anything cold in the cellar, including the cold water pipe. Uh, 2.4 metres a second. There's hardly any bathroom ventilation, and this is key to the problem. Similar problem. Should be 15, it's 2.8. Bring the flaps out, you can see this. The, there's what's called a backflow shutter and it's been held yeah, you could even take it shut out, but it's now open. So it and the two vents are joining each other uh, and they're creating a shortcut so vapor's going down one and coming back into the house. 4.4 it's not very good but it's because it's got long ducting but it's about double what it was so anyway that's at least it's going the right direction. And this one is again about 5.2. I think part of the problem is they're ducted through the same ducting out. But it's about a third of what it should be, but it's a lot better than it was before. About double it also. So there's dampness up in the chimney, uh, up on the, in the loft. There's some discoloration, but that may come from rust rather than penetrating damp. This is to confirm that it is, is damp. That's the benefit of damp meters. There are condensation dribble marks. Now, I didn't find anything particularly wrong with the chimney breast here. There is a potential possibility for hygroscopic salts, but these don't look like hygroscopic salts. I think it's just standard condensation. Nothing majorly wrong with the lead flashing. No signs of cracking. So in conclusion, uh, we definitely have a high risk of vapor in the ground floor, just next to a cold zone being the cellar. So, I'm convinced that condensation from poor ventilation, ventilation is the issue, the primary cause of damp. It could be made worse by the neighbours, but then that's the same issue, condensation from poor kitchen extractor fan in that case, and the fridge being just next to that wall. Uh, upstairs in the loft, it looks like condensation as well. Uh, and 
having the trickle vent open is useful, uh, perhaps, uh, and also any ventilation within the property. Um, and uh, always keep the dew point below the outside temperature by using your data loggers. Thank you very much, and please do comment. Thanks.